You will always make it in the end. Have power in yourself. Because the world is shaping due to humanity's actions. I personally dislike it when women try to be sexy. I mean, you cannot be uh, heart to heart. Women need to find men that know and experience their very soul and doesn't resort to fits of lust and anger. You, m women need more men that can identify with soul rather than physical contact. Because women are more beautiful most times than most men. So men like being the pig. They like being um, almost insulting in a way. Women experience so much spiritual freedom and it is usually the man that is held back in creative uh, mind, in a creative mindset. And the women are free and they teach the man how to become spiritually free. Because women, um, their heart empowers their genitalia. And with men, the genitalia empowers the heart. And men don't know how to express emotion without this lustful behavior, if you will. It is up to woman to teach the man how to love from the heart instead of the genitalia. It is known throughout history that it is the man that is more courageous with sex. Um, if you've never heard of the man Aleister Crowley and cre created an entire magical ceremonial system just for sex, and the experience of uh, basically exploding the heart chakra, opening it up, and ex uh, all your other chakras, your divine seventh chakra, your indigo third eye, how to become more spiritually powerful through sex. And it is always the woman who champions the moon, because the moon energy affects every living thing on earth. And... Women know how to feel more emotionally, and men uh, fill the gap with this lustful creation. And together they kind of expand um, their heart with the reproductive organ. And men figured out that the very purpose of a love is reproduction. And women think the entire purpose of reproduction is love. So they, it's kind of a cycle, a duality, that men and women are currently in. And that is why women, that's why everybody listens to the woman before the man in every society. When they think, talk about politics, you listen to the woman before the man. But in a patriarchal society, people listen to men before the woman, and etc., etc., and it goes on, and vice versa, and goes on, and goes on, and goes on. And it all depends on the society of the woman, because the ancient Greeks, the ancient Romans, high society, that's why they wore um, dresses, that's why they um, so politically advanced, is because was a high society. Women, um, honestly, back in those days, it depends on the woman because some of them are more sophisticated than others. And some know the hearts of true individuals more than the man. But it is also the male hopeless romantic that thinks almost halfway as a woman.